Hey everybody and welcome to my very first Maya video. So first of all, for those of you who whatever for whatever reason jumped in because you want to see a Maya tutorial or a perfectly skilled Maya pro, you're wrong. This is not the place for you. Uh, this is my very first attempt on Maya. Uh, you have seen from the thumbnail that it was kind of su successful. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the, my kind of progress in the program for a reason. Um, because I am preparing for the Theme Makers Toolkit, which is an application that we're gonna get. Uh, it's kind of not really an application, it is, it's kind of a toolkit as the name says, for a planet coaster or 3D modelers that like to play planet coaster and want who want to try to kind of make 3D models on their own to import them in the game. And the theme makers toolkit, what a name, let's call it TMT for the moment, so you guys know uh, actually what I'm talking about. Um, the TMT will allow us to import FBX models in a kind of pipeline system, which will be kind of a website based or a web app based thing whatever this is really looking like we don't have any idea about this yet but it will basically um, give us some tools to actually convert our assets into scenery pieces that we can then um, kind of make as a set or as a little downloadable set which then will be appearing in the Steam Workshop to be downloaded from there directly into your game and can be used in game so that's the story behind the tool maker theme theme makers team team that's it. And uh, in today's episode I'm going to show you my first, well, three assets. I would call them actually there are two because one is just duplicated and yeah. So I'm not entirely inexperienced in, in uh, kind of uh, 3D modeling. I've been uh, modeling a lot of 3D models with SketchUp which is kind of unprofessional um, because SketchUp is really a program that, you know, is, is really for hardcore beginners I would call it. Um, it does offer quite a lot of versatility but it is you know the, the tools in it really don't enable you to make professional things you can you definitely can make professional things but it's a lot harder a lot more time consuming and yeah but the problem is you know as, as a human um, you are just enjoying too much once you get used to something so this is the reason why I always avoided to change the program because I, I was feeling so comfortable in uh, SketchUp and I was doing great stuff in there at least I thought and I was just sticking to it way too long and it was until yeah the late 2000s I would say uh, it's like eight years ago um, when I kind of stopped doing this and I, I was you know I was doing this all for um, the first crisis game made by Crytek back then they they had a um, toolkit which was called sandbox 2 which was basically a toolkit by their engine or which was used by their engine which was the cry engine and you could create a lot of great things and just import them into the cry engine and make your own game with it and stuff and so I was making a lot of things there and guess what it was for a roller coaster so I was basically building uh, Big Thunder Mountain with my brother so I was making the models and he was uh, yeah just making the uh, um, stuff for the game like making all the flow graphs and stuff like that so yeah anyways that's that's for another story but it um, it really appeared to be um, a cool time back then and uh, then I lost track a little bit and it was last year when I was getting back into blender and um, I was doing this for my job actually but then kind of you know as it is in in a job always I um, I had so many other things to do which brought us some money and Blender, learning Blender and making 3D models, it doesn't necessarily, you know, brings us money in the first place. It, it will definitely make us money somewhere in the future, but at the moment it doesn't, so there was not that space to learn it. And so I decided, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm spending some free time on doing this right now, but there was a little thing in my way which was called YouTube <laughs> and it was called Planet Coaster. So I could kind of, you know, I could... I'm always like the person I need to create something. I, I need to get rid of my weird ideas in my head. Otherwise, I'm getting super uncomfortable. I'm getting pissed. I'm, I'm really getting, you know, I've, I've, I'm in a, a bad mood because there's so much in my head and I'm feeling like I'm doing nothing in my life, even though that's totally wrong. I have enough stuff to do, but I just want to, you know, spread all the ideas I have or at least kind of realize them in some kind of way and since you you may not be able to build a roller coaster on your own every now and then because of several reasons in re in the real life um, at, at least there is a game called Planet Coaster where you can do all the stuff you want to do and the game was my endeavor kind of for all my creativity which is incredible which was great um, and there was always the struggle for me to go back into 3D modeling but the problem is 
that I didn't feel like that it is kind of, you know, for any reason it is, you know, it was really not a thing that gives me anything because I couldn't really use it. I couldn't really make videos on it because I, I didn't know for what reason and uh, I couldn't import them into Planet Coaster or, or any other game at the moment I'm I'm happy with. So I, I was kind of... I was kind of in struggle in, in between of uh, doing it because I like it or kind of not doing it because uh, there is no reason for doing it at the moment. So um, I felt like Planet Coaster was enough for me because I am really happy with what I could do with the game. But now as we know that we can use 3D models in the future, I was just so happy to be able to go back to Planet Coaster and just, yeah. Uh, sorry, back to 3D modeling and do what I wanted to do and this is creating 3D models that we can use in the game. So what you can see, I'm doing a cup and a plate now. So this is, I'm, I'm doing the plate right now. Um, just for the record, these are way too detailed at the moment. I'm going to make them way less detailed once we are able to import them into the game. But for the moment, I'm, I'm just doing those models in this kind of scale I feel comfortable with. Um, just because of, the, you know, just to get back into the in the modeling flow because I haven't been working with Maya at all before so you can see basically what you see in this video is a lot of struggle <laughs> so I, I was you know I was messing up a few things because it is always a bit different in terms of workflow how you do things and how you don't um, at the end I was getting a lot better but yeah it, it was a lot of struggle actually but anyhow it it, it kind of appeared that I, I I started to understand the program a bit better in the end and um, also today evening I'm going to build some more stuff in the game and apparently I'm going to share that with you next week hopefully. But now it's up to you guys. I am and my, my first set I'm going to do will be a small prop set for interiors of restaurants and now it's up to you. What do you want to see in the game? So I had already some great recommendations like as you can see cups and um, t plates and um, definitely I'm also going to make a, a teapot like a coffee pot, um, a coffee machine maybe, or um, you know, kind of these little kitchen wagons where you put stuff on. Um, also making a cashier counter, a counter in general, or all these kind of things that are really useful to be used in uh, inside of a restaurant. But you know, just come up with all these small props you are missing in the game. And I, I know that we are lacking small props in the game. Uh, and this is why I would need your input now in the comment section down below. Um, what kind of small props you want to see in Planet Coaster. And I'm going to obviously not make all, but I'm, I'm going to choose from those items that you guys liked the most, obviously. So please do also use the like option on the co other comments. That would help me a lot. Uh, so I can see which ones are most favorite. And I'm going to put them into our 3D Modelers chat. By the way, if you are also a 3D modeler and you don't necessarily need to be in Maya, you can also do it in Blender. There's still hope that Blender files are also, um, you know, supported because actually the the file, the FBX file, in the end is basically the same. So we are still wondering why this shouldn't be supported, but at the moment it stands that it isn't. So we have to assume that it isn't. But anyhow, you can also be a 3D modeler in. Um, Blender and at the end just send me your file and I'm going to convert that in whatever they need and we are good to go and uh, send it back to you and you can use it. So that could also be a workflow because I can import Blender models in Maya quite easily and so you know that's that's simply the reason why that shouldn't be an issue at all. But anyhow, um, so yeah. But if you are a 3D modeler, you're feeling kind of comfortable with it. You at least if you are, you will already lie down on the bottom and cry because you see what I'm doing of a mess here <laughs> um, but uh, if you are not in my discord right now and uh, you want to be or you want to be um, making or you want to make want to be I don't even know where does that be come from anyhow uh, if you want to make some models make sure to join us there because we are going to kind of try to at least uh, share the tasks so that not everybody's doing the same because that would be killing the um, kind of procedure and the progress how we get in-game pieces later on um, if, if everybody is going to make the same asset it, you know that wouldn't be wouldn't be too cool because then we will have like 10 different plates and 10 different cups in the game which is nice but it would be better if we would have a cup a table a plate a chair and you know what I mean right you know what I mean so that would be the best way to do it so if you like to model and if you want to help or if you just want to make textures or whatever make sure to join the discord and just you know um, say whatever you want to say 
say whatever you want to model, say whatever you want to texture, and we're getting you into a Trello, and yeah, that could be a cool thing for the future. I really hope that this kind of, you know, really starts to kick off once we are uh, a few more people and once the CMT is there. Uh, I hope that this really helps. But yeah, as you can see right now, I'm setting up a little bit of a room here so that I can see how the pieces will look in the end. Um, it, it is, as I said, it was just a little bit trial and error. This is the result I had after like an hour, like an hour and 10 minutes. The footage was an hour and 10 minutes. So this is what I had at the end of my first hour in, in Maya. I obviously watched some tutorials, but very briefly. I didn't really watch a tutorial till the end, so uh, it is it is kind of what I came up with just by a trial and error. And I think the game, uh, the, game the, the, the program is quite intuitive um, to a certain degree. And, uh, you know, as soon as you have reached a point uh, where you can't really do it with your kind of intuitive actions it kind of gets messy but i think with just googling for it it was kind of easy to to see what it is but anyways that's already it about this episode you can see whoops i hit my microphone again um you can really see what i'm what i'm up to in this episode and i hope that you guys will enjoy in the future some more modeling and some more stuff for the to my uh, theme makers toolkit and i hope you enjoy and tell me please down below in the comments if you want to see the progress of me modeling it um with commentary if you like it and uh, what you want to see next that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope to see you in the next video have a great saturday guys bye bye